Good afternoon scrappers, hope you're all good. Didn't know what to do a video of really today, but I thought what the hell, I'll just do a uh, a shortish video, well it's going to be short, I'm not going to muck around too much, talk a whole heap of crap this and that, no, no, no. But uh, this is what we're looking at, okay? There's about three kilos of this crap, all in the bucket. And all of this stuff is found in, well, on circuit boards. You can see, it's got a decent chunk of copper on it. Same with that there. That's copper, don't worry, trust, trust me, take my word for it. I've scratched lots of them, and they're copper. So I've been uh, accumulating more so these, I have been actually. These are what I've been saving when I find them on circuit boards. But um, I was totally ignoring these. If I did not totally ignore them, I'd have shitloads more of them. But I would uh, ignore them and I'd just let it slide and uh, leave them on the circuit board. But uh, for a little while, I've decided to change my uh, approach and take these pieces off. Because instead of just getting a circuit board value for this, by leaving it on, I thought maybe I could take these off and I could get a better value. Now I was thinking maybe domestic copper price. Now I took these to the yard on Saturday just to get an idea of what these would be categorised as. Uh, they couldn't give me a straight answer. I do have to ask another fella. But they had the feeling that these would be classed as domestic copper because they have a decent, a, a decent return of copper in them. And I mean, even, even if you smash them, like for example, these ones here, black on both sides ah uh, busy mate you can talk to me after yep yes fucking hell trying to do a video and these clowns are already calling me no you're not doing any fire a little bit see hands me already two less than three minutes into a video they're calling me hell already took them to the park now anyway before i was rudely interrupted rude <laughs> uh, these things here um if you've got a hammer and smashed them there's all copper in this as well i mean for a small little thing i'm actually uh just taking them off and uh chucking them in my electric motors bucket i mean again this is going to take a lot to build weight but um hey if you don't need the money, I don't think it really matters how long it takes, okay? It'll be like your little secret pocket money stash. I mean, I don't know how much you're going to make, but, um, no. It's no effort at all taking them off. A bit of a wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. And there you have it. And as you can see, here's one here. It's on the bottom of the circuit board. And that is where you seem to always find these, okay? They're always underneath the circuit board now you won't find them on every circuit board but um i do find them underneath the circuit boards but these are all circuit boards from scrap and air cons so some will have them and some don't now you probably could argue the fact well if you're going to take that off well then you might as well take these off because they're classed as electric motors which is true they certainly are they're classed as electric motors too so if you want to take them off hey go right ahead but these things here only take a couple seconds to rip off. I mean, I was actually just getting a grinder, cut there, wriggle it off. But um, the missus just took, takes these off in seconds. So I didn't even see what she does. But I would gather that she just bites it here, grabs it, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Because these little... Because they're copper anyway, these little legs. They're all copper. 
So a bit of wriggling and twisting, and it just comes off. So, uh, gee, I've talked five minutes of shit so far, apart from the interruption. So that's what I just thought I'd share with you. And again, here's another one over here. Look at that. Pretty hefty piece of copper in that. Definitely worth removing. It's a circuit board. Don't know much about any of the other crap. Although, fair to say, there's probably uh, electric motor here, copper inside there. Another one here, little uh, transformer thingy, electric motor. But yeah. But these here, stuff all time. Stuff all energy, couple seconds, wriggle, 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 and off you go. Put it in your bucket, and hidey ho, here's your domestic copper. Well, so I've been lean to uh, believe that's what it's going to be categorized as. So that's pretty awesome. I just thought I'd share that crap with you. Because I didn't really have anything. Oh, hang on, look at that, see? As you can see there, look on the side. You can see the copper. Unreal. They're copper as well. But they're from uh, something different. Let's see if I can find what that's out of. That thing right there. That is out of that, okay? And basically all you gotta do is unscrew the screws. These are your plugs, or if you wanna clean them up, brass. Take the plastic off, which is a screw there, and there as well, undo it. Clip here, clip there. Basically you just need a narrower one of these, which I have. Just give that a bit of a, a poke in here. There, there, lift that up, out she comes. There's a little circuit board under here as well, along with that bad boy. Underneath here, just whack. Just whack this bit of steel out, and then you've got the extruded aluminium as well. So uh, that's pretty awesome. No, I don't want to thanks, mate, for saving myself for dinner. And that's that. Look at that. I made a seven minute video of garbage. <laughs> Which I can post later on. Thanks for coming. So anyway, I'm going to wriggle this off. I've wasted nearly eight minutes now of not watching football on my Sunday. So I just thought I'd uh, share this little bit with you. Maybe you'll uh, save them yourself. Or maybe you couldn't give a rat's ass and just leave them on and sell the whole circuit board. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching if you did. Like and subscribe if you can. And ciao for now.